Hi, it's Vito. I'm going to be showing you how to download YouTube videos onto your iTunes or iPod. First, you need Mozilla Firefox. So go to mozilla.com and download the browser. After that, you go to mozilla.org and you need the Grease Monkey extension. So in the search box, type in Grease Monkey, one word. It's the, the very first result. Click on that and install it. You're going to need to restart Firefox. It'll show you all that when you're installing. Now you need to go to userscripts.org after you've installed Grease Monkey and install a script. Search for download YouTube video. and you get the fourth one. On the right of the screen, click Install This Script. After you've done that, you just go to YouTube, click Go Watch Your Video, and under the video there will be a link that says Download Video. You can use that link to download, or the yellow bar at the top. Now you do the instructions, right click the link, save link as, and type in the name of the video. Make sure you save it as a .flv. You have to save it as that. After you now just click save, and you need the um, a video converter called I believe it's super yeah from eWriteSoft.com. it's free and it just converts your video I'll post the link in the description that when your video is done downloading it should be on the desktop and that down there where I'm showing right now is it is another extension called Download Status Bar, which you can search for if you're interested in. It just keeps everything organized. So that's done. You just find your video and drag it into the converter. And now check your setting. The first one must be Apple iPod. The second one must be that. Do not check direct show. You can leave the rest of the settings the same. Um, for video scale size, 320 by 240. Then you click encode and just wait. Okay, so when it's done, it will just disappear from that list and it will be unchecked. You can just quit the thing, ignore that message. And my iTunes does not work right. It's My computer is just messed up. So, after you've converted the video, go into iTunes, click on File, Import, File, and then find your video. It should be in C program files 
eWriteSoft output. If it's not in program files, it's documents and settings. And then your video will import to iTunes and you're ready to go. In case, you, in case you missed any of that, I'll type it all out for you so you can just see it for yourself. I'll also show you through my computer where the file will be located.